Evening, our nation wants to know I'm Adas Gopal Krishan. Who would have thought that a series of benign videos and tweets of images posted by the Prime Minister would snowball into a full-blown bilateral issue? But after Maldivian ministers and politicians have hurled racist slurs and derogatory comments at India and Prime Minister Modi, the unprovoked hate sparked outrage both in India and Maldives. Day after three ministers were suspended for shooting from the hip, the blowback went beyond social media. While yesterday it was celebrities exhorting one and all to explore Indian islands, today bodies from the hospitality industry in India have called for a boycott of Maldives for the insult. In fact, data shows that Indians top in Maldives tourist arrival figures with more than two lakh of them visiting the island nation every year after the COVID-19 pandemic. And therefore, the impact of this backlash on travel hotspot could be crippling as well. I think uh, this could be a blessing in disguise that uh, no one is going to take the risk of going to a country where people are hostile. So how much loss from business point of view Maldives will suffer if India boycotts? Uh, I think more than one billion dollars. Lakshadweep has seen a remarkable 3400 percent increase in searches ever since uh, our honorable PM visited the islands. So this kind of inspired us to build an entire campaign around it. So we are launching Beaches of India. We thought that we owe it to the country to be the country first and then business later. We have taken a stance of not serving 2.9 lakh people who travel to Maldives and is my trip being one of the largest travel portals in the country, we surely will see a hit on the business. But we believe that in long term, it is great for the business, it is great for the nation as the supply for Lakshadweep develops, as the supply for Andama Nicobar develops, we will see the uptake come back. Right, we've seen several celebrities, in fact, sportspersons also tweeting on this issue. And joining us at this point of time is actor Sherlyn Chopra. Sherlyn Chopra, thanks so much for joining us on this broadcast. Let me begin by asking you about your recent tweet where you had said that you are planning to go to Maldives to celebrate your birthday next month, but not anymore. Can't wait to explore the magical beauty and sheer splendor of Lakshadweep. Tell us uh, what you were thinking when you were posting that particular tweet. I've been telling my friends that uh, I would love to ring in my birthday next month in Maldives, wear different sorts of bikinis and post pics on social media. But then when I got to know about how a few ministers of Maldives feel about our prime minister, about our country, I said to myself, no way. My personal preference cannot be above my country's uh, integrity or my country's respect. Definitely not. And so at this time, all Indians should come together and say hashtag boycott Maldives because we will not put up with any sort of disrespect towards our prime minister. And uh, prime minister did nothing to provoke this sort of response from the ministers of Maldives. Uh, we have seen the post which our prime minister uh, posted on Twitter. Uh, on X, uh, it is uh, uh, a very healthy post. It depicts the beautiful glimpses of um, Lakshadweep Islands. And uh, I don't think there was any need for this sort of retaliation from the ministers of Maldives. Absolutely. So this is totally uncalled for. What do you think about those comments was the most offensive to you? Was it the comments where they were talking about, you know, stinking rooms, etc.? What, what, what part of that uh, comment perhaps outraged you the most? Well, they say that uh, India stinks. Hamare desh se badbu aati hai. If that is true, to phir hamare paiso se khushbu kaise aa sakti hai? Hamare paiso ko bhi lanat maro na, thukra do. That is my, uh, uh, you know, my two cents to them. If you don't want to respect us, then say no to our money. But no, you guys are so uh, hypocritical that you can't even say no to our money. Have, have, you know, the decency to say, okay, we don't want you, we don't want your money. But you don't have the, uh, you know, the spine to take a firm stand. So what I'm trying to say is that if you want business from us, from Indians, from Indian tourists, then have the decency to respect our country and the, pres the prime minister of our country. And the prime minister of our country respects all nations. And that post was posted in a very um, good taste. 
Hmm. It is our duty to, uh, you know, praise and promote our uh, union ter territories like uh, uh, Lakshadweep Islands. So, if we don't promote our uh, our uh, union territories, then who will? So, I feel that all these uh, elements who try to uh, speak about our protest in a very derogatory manner, they should be taught a lesson, and the lesson is very simple: country first, business later. Absolutely. Country first, business later. And that's clearly, of course, uh, uh, what uh, several of the trade bodies certainly feel. But uh, with action being taken on several of these ministers who are shooting from the hip, in fact, uh, they've been suspended. And of course, we've seen this blowback happening on social media, happening in very real terms, because, you know, if India does decide to boycott, uh, we send the maximum number of tourists to Maldives. So it's certainly going to hurt them economically. Do you think that after the suspension of the uh, ministers now, the issue should settle? Or do you see this further escalating, Sharon? I don't see it uh, settling anytime soon because those ministers, they spoke a language which is very belittling and derogatory. So uh, the question arises, where did they get the audacity from to speak such a language? Are there any uh, ministers in higher positions of authority who have not yet come forward? So let all those names be exposed who do not like India. If you don't like us, you know, say no to our money. Hmm. What is it that you have against our prime minister? What is it that you have against our nation? You say, Hamare desh se badbu aati hai. Hmm. And you say, yahan par har jagah gober nazar aata hai. Achha, agar baat aisi hai, to aapko hamare paiso se itna lagaab kiyo hai? Thukrao hamare paiso ko? Lekin nahi, aapke paas reed ki haddi nahi hai thukraane ke liye. Hmm. Ye hai dikkat. बड़ी बड़ी बातें आप करते हैं अपने कैबिन में बैठकर मजाक उड़ाते हैं हमारे प्राइम मिनिस्टर का हमारे देश का और फिर आप ये उम्मीद रखते हैं कि हम आपके देश में आए और पैसा खर्चा करें दिस इज रिडिक्यूलस Absolutely, absolutely. And Shailen, I'm going to ask you a question, and it's a, a little linked to politics and international politics at that. Traditionally, all the presidents of Maldives in the past, their first diplomatic visit has been to India. In this current president's case, since he has visited, he has visited several other countries like Turkey. He's currently on a visit to China. Clearly, there's a shift in terms of their politics. They're asking our security forces posted there to leave Maldives. So there are many who are saying that this new regime itself, its entire position vis-a-vis -vis India, is very different from past regimes and therefore they're not surprised at this kind of uh, uh, very crude comment coming in from them how do you see it absolutely i feel that uh, uh, the you know these political leaders of various countries need not be best friends with our prime minister at least maintain a decorum maintain an etiquette you know you cannot be addressing the prime minister of the world's largest democracy with uh, with contempt, it is unacceptable, hmm. not only by Indians, but even by the supporters of our Prime Minister across the globe. Hmm. So have some decency, learn how to communicate uh, on social media, learn to use parliamentary language. And Absolutely. if you cannot do that, kindly submit your resignation and leave your government post. Right. No government leader should ever forget the decorum that is required to communicate with global leaders on public platforms. You cannot be saying, ha, 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 look at the tiger in a, you know, uh, life jacket, ha, 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 ha. No, that is not the way you talk about the Prime Minister of India. Show some respect, show some decency. And don't forget that you are dependent on us for tourism. It's not the other way around. We have so many locales in our uh, country, right from uh, Kashmir to Kanyakumari. We don't need to visit your country. We have so many beautiful locations in our country. You need our money because India is the biggest market that uh, contributes to the tourism sector. So do not forget the facts and get your decency in place. Right. Shailin, last question. Are we going to see you in Lakshwadeep next month? Hell yeah. <laughs> okay. I think this is the right time for all of us to explore the mesmerizing beauty, the charm, and uh, the splendor, the, the glamour of uh, Lakshwadeep and, of course, Andaman. So, guys, let's go for it. Let's show the world that we are, you know, 
we are self-sufficient. We don't need outside locations to celebrate our anniversaries, birthdays, or special moments. There is a lot in India. All right. Thanks so much, Helen, for joining us, uh, sharing with us very candidly your views. And certainly, that's a sentiment that I think many, many Indians share, that uh, the kind of statements that have come in from Maldives, a neighbor, in fact, a country where we sent the first COVID vaccines to, this kind of a response is certainly not what we expect from them. Thanks so much for joining with us and uh, sharing your views, Shelley. Thank you.